Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm Planet Based Gabriel and I'm so glad you guys are watching. Today I'm going to be making a super easy instant pot marinara sauce. Now you can do this over the stove, but I find that doing it in the instant pot makes it just a little bit quicker and nice and easy to set it and forget it. Now all we're going to need is a blender. I'm using my Ninja Auto IQ blender for this. And then again, we're gonna need the instant pot or you can use the stove if you'd like. But we're also gonna need some ingredients. I've got three cups of water already in my blender. I've also got 12 ounces of tomato paste, one ounce or roughly around a fourth of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Now, I use ones that don't have any oil. All it is is sun-dried tomatoes. You can see them right there. I'm also gonna use two tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, ground black pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, and then one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Now, I'm not gonna put any salt in this right now, but if once it's cooked, if you feel like you need to put some salt in it, go right ahead. I just don't like cooking with the salt. I'll add it in afterwards. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the blender and get things in there, and then we'll get to blending. All we're gonna need to do is add in all of our ingredients and just blend it enough so that this sun-dried tomato gets nice and pureed. So I like to add those in first. I'm gonna add in my dry spices, my maple syrup, and then we have 12 ounces of tomato paste. Now I'm just gonna blend it until everything looks like it's with a nice, good consistency. All right, I give that 30 seconds. Looked like it was coming together good. I'll let you see there. We have a good consistency on that marinara. So now I'm gonna get this moved over. I'm gonna bring in the Instant Pot and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we got the Instant Pot out. Now we're just gonna open it up and take our blended marinara. It goes in there really well. All right, just make sure you get it all out. And then I'm just gonna give it a good stir. And it should be ready to go. Now I'm gonna set that. I can shut it. There we go. I'm gonna set that for 10 minutes on the pressure cook setting, and we'll be back when that is done. All right, I just got done quick releasing the Instant Pot. 10 minutes was up. It smells fantastic in the kitchen, and we're gonna open it up and see what we've got. Oh yes, that looks wonderful. I hope you can tell we've got a perfect marinara consistency. That is going to go great on pasta, in ravioli, uh, in lasagna, really whatever you would use a marinara for, this is a go-to. I'm gonna get things cleaned up in the kitchen and I'm gonna get a little bit bowled up and let you know how I like it. All right, I got things tidied up in the kitchen. I'm ready to give this marinara sauce a try. Now, I will say I like to use my reusable glass dishes. I'm not sure if this was a salsa dish or a pasta sauce um, before, but now it is pasta sauce. So we like using those. To give you a reference, it filled this up and probably another third of one of these. So I'm gonna give it a try. Such a great deep rich flavor and that really comes from those sun-dried tomatoes. They give it a real good umami flavor. It's also got a nice hint of sweetness from the maple syrup um, and just the spice blend just mixes together so perfectly. I hope you guys saw how easy and simple it was. I just threw it in the blender, put it in the Instant Pot, set it and forget it and you have a perfect ready to use pasta sauce. If you guys like this video, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more plant-based videos just like this one, Hit the subscribe button too. Maybe hit the like button on this video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Plant Based Gabriel, and I will see you guys soon.